Welcome to beautiful Los Angeles, California. More specifically, I'm recording this video in Culver City today. And I'm actually doing it outside. And in the environment, you hear planes. There's a guy all the way down with a jackhammer. There's cars driving by. Maybe there'll be some music in the background. I don't know, but I decided to do the video outside today because it's nicer than it's been inside. So, having said that, I want to explain something to you guys. Some of my friends told me, Mike, this is too private, don't reveal it, they don't need to know. But I thought about it for a while and this is why I'm actually posting this a little later. And I have around 40,000 people watching my channel all the time. That's a lot of people, 40,000 people, it amazes me. So maybe I can reach two, five, ten people, who knows? Maybe nobody, but maybe it can help somebody and maybe you get motivated to do the same thing. As you can tell, maybe, or maybe not, some people actually texted me, they say, Mike, you, lose, you look like you lost some weight. Yes, since I am left from here to Germany and came back, I lost over 50 pounds. Some people can't tell, but this is what really happened. I feel good, and the whole thing started before the pandemic. I went to the doctor and I got diagnosed with um, not type 2 diabetes, but pre-diabetes. Pre so I was shocked, 55 years, I didn't have diabetes. And you know, I've been eating good, I always felt good. But if you eat sugar all the time, one day your system doesn't work anymore. So I tried to lose some weight, I lost about 40 pounds. I felt good, I, I thought I can reverse the whole thing. Some people say you can reverse type 2 diabetes, some people say you can't. But I started taking those pills, metformin, one in the morning, one at night, and then I just went on with my life. I worked out a little bit and I thought all the um, tests I did with the doctor, they were okay, so I had no problem. But then the pandemic came and I slowly, slowly went back to the old habits and I gained my weight back. And when I went to Germany this time, when I was in Turkey, I got really sick with a virus infection, not COVID, but a virus infection. And I had to go to the bathroom all the time. I have to pee all the time. I had to drink a lot all the time. And when I came back to Germany, my mom always had the heater in the house. So I thought maybe it's because it's so hot in here the heater is on the whole time, so that's why I have to drink so much. But then I also lost some weight. I'm eating good, I'm everything, but I'm losing weight. So I went to the doctor and they actually did a blood test and they found out that my sugar was 450. I don't know if you have the same numbers here in America, but 450 is really, really high. You're supposed to have between 80 and 100. And having said that, I also want to tell you, so whatever I'm telling you here, I'm not a doctor. I'm just a YouTuber with some beach experience and you don't have to take my word for it. Get your own information online. YouTube has a lot of videos. I've been watching hundreds of videos. I try to pick the best of everything to change my life. So my sugar was 450 and I went to the doctor and right away they put me on insulin. And they told me I have insulin resistant. That means every time you eat your food, you have like a spike of insulin. Maybe I'm, I hope I explained it right. So every time you eat, your insulin goes up and you're insulin resistant. So they put me on metformin and I have to take a shot every night in my belly insulin. And slowly it went down again. And now I changed my whole eating habits. I've done a video before I said I changed my life and you know sometimes you say something and you're really motivated and you want to do it but uh, after like a couple of weeks I gave up and a lot of people gave me a hard time hey what happened about your uh, weight loss you said you're gonna lose weight and you know I learned something that you're not supposed to say something and I was thinking about the same thing when I did this video should I actually say it because this time it is serious, it's my health. And because I learned so much on YouTube, what happened if you have uh, diabetes type two, it affects your eyesight, 
it, it affects your feet, tingling in the feet, numbness of the feet, uh, your liver, problems with the liver, kidneys. There's so many things that can happen to you. It's really dangerous. Some people say, well, if you can't eat this, if you can't this, they don't enjoy life anymore. But I think about, we all have to die, right? So I, my attitude always was, and no matter what, I have to die anyway, but it's how you die. Some people get their feet chopped off because they have diabetes. Some people become blind. So this is a really, really dangerous subject. And I have to change my lifestyle. It's not that I'm gonna do it for a while. I have to change my lifestyle. I cut all the carbs out of my life. I don't eat any potatoes, no starch, no bread, no noodles, nothing. All I eat is salad, vegetables, and um, fish and chicken. So when I cut all the sugar, I don't eat any sugar anymore. I don't really know, maybe sometimes I eat something and there's probably sugar in there and some carbs turn into sugar. I had to learn all this. And um, I'm trying my best. It works really good for me. After two weeks, not eating any sugar, I have no cravings at all. I'm on a, um, what's the name? Intermittent fasting. That means I only eat one time a day. If you have a normal social life, it's really hard to only eat once a day because when I go to Germany, my mom wants to make breakfast for me, lunch and dinner. You want to sit down, we talk, we enjoy eating, but health is more important than anything else. So right now I'm on a strict one day meal. People say, oh, you, you eat numerous uh, meals a day, but every time you eat, your insulin spikes up and that's not good for you. So for me, it worked out pretty good. You got to find out about yourself, how your body works. I'm feeling really good. You know, I think I look a little bit better because I lost the weight. And when you lose the weight, you feel good. And having like a, I also got diagnosed with a fatty liver. And there's really no sign of having a uh, fatty liver. There's no symptoms. So people that walk around, if you have like a little belly, that probably means you also have a fatty liver. And it can scar the liver. You need liver transplant. There's a lot of things that can happen too. So it is really scary. I hope I'm doing the right thing. Uh, I have to do another blood test after three months. I think the first month is over. And then they have to find out the long-term sugar. And there's like a certain amount you can have being pre-diabetes and having diabetes. So going back to the people uh, with the fatty liver, there's also people that have a fatty liver when they drink a lot. But like I said, most people, there's really no sign of a fatty liver. You gotta go to a doctor, they do like a special test and they can tell, or they look ultrasound, they can tell if you have a fatty liver or not. Man, I didn't know that I ever gonna preach something about health because I felt always good. And the funny thing is, I never seen myself as fat as I really are. You know, when you, record something on video and then you play it back and I sit in the chair and you see my stomach and my chin here. Then I say, man, is that really me? But when I walk around and I look in the mirror, I don't feel that fat. And I think a lot of people don't feel that fat, but I was really fat and I'm still really fat and I'm still working on it. I'm working uh, to go down at least to a hundred kilos. I'm 120 right now. I'm the lowest in my weight. I haven't been in 15 years. So all my closet, I have to buy new clothes. I can actually fit in some of my old pants, but it feels really good to change your clothes and you look better, you feel better. So hopefully I can help one person. Don't eat the sugar, cut sugar out of your life. You feel so much better. It's hard, you know, because you always, I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't do drugs. I always like to go to a restaurant, sit down and have a nice meal. That's what I enjoyed. And people say, oh, Mike, your food was always your comfort. Maybe it was, I don't know. I watched an Oprah show once where Oprah said, heavyweight people, they have a problem. You gotta discover what the problem is. I don't know what the problem is. I think it was just over the years, slowly and slowly, I gained more weight. And then like this, you look back, nine years later, it's like, man, what happened to me? You know, I used to be, I used to be in really good shape. 
but it's really those years where you don't you do something else you concentrate on your business or family you don't work out and slowly slowly the weight comes back so right now I'm working out five times a week and maybe if you're on Instagram sometimes you see I try to motivate other people and I think I motivated Louis Alpha because he started working out again he's eating better he's also a diabetic but he's been diabetic for years and ever since I got diagnosed with type 2 diabetes I met a lot of people everybody gives me an advice and nobody actually talks about it like friends I had for years I didn't know they had diabetes he said I told them about my diabetes and they said oh yeah I have diabetes already five years I've been using uh, insulin for years I said what how come you never told me so there's a lot of people it's actually really really big that a, people have type 2 diabetes they don't even know or pre-diabetes so cut the sugar out and you feel so much better. I hope I said everything I wanted to say. Sometimes when I look back at my video, I say, oh, I wanted to say this, wanted to say this. So this is a lifestyle for me now. Some people want to take me out to dinner sometimes. I can't do it anymore. I strictly eat my one meal a day. I work out and hopefully I can uh, reverse my type two diabetes so I don't have to do the insulin shots. It doesn't really affect me. Some people can't inject themselves with like a needle. They are really afraid of it. It doesn't really bother me, but I don't really want to do it because of the medication. I don't know if I have to still keep taking uh, metformin. You know, it's easy to pop a pill in the morning at night and then you think all your problems are gone, but that's not what it is. So trying to change my lifestyle and I hope you, train, uh, you change your lifestyle Stop smoking, it's not good for you. We all know it's not good for me. I don't wanna preach because I've been doing it 55 years, but the older you get and when your health deteriorate, you be more health conscious than ever before. When you're young, you don't think about it, but the damage that's done over the years, you can reverse it. Sometimes you can, the liver is one organ that can actually, if it hasn't been scarred too much, can reverse it 100% and you can have a healthy liver again. That's what I learned. So I am just encourage you not to drink that much alcohol, everything in moderation, that's what they say. Don't drink, don't smoke, don't do drugs. Just have a good time. Easy to say, there's a lot of problems out there and some people try to numb themselves. And I just wanna encourage you I said that three times already, so this is the end of the video. Now we have a little update what's going on with the GIV. And uh, hopefully I encourage you to work out or do something. Having said that, that was it. I haven't talked to you guys for a while. I've been actually shooting a video the last five days. It's a long process. You will see, I love the video. I don't know if you guys are gonna love it, but uh, stay tuned and watch my channel. And maybe if you liked my video, I mean, there was nothing really funny in this video, but maybe I can help one person. I already said it 10 times. If you like it, give it one thumb up, maybe two thumbs. Push the notification bell and subscribe to the German in Venice. And uh, maybe this summer, I'm gonna take my shirt off and I'm gonna walk around in Venice Beach like a muscle guy and I feel like 21 again. See you guys later. Take care. Have a great week, weekend, wherever you are. I only wish you the best. Tschüssing.